Yo guys, it is Fluffy Says here and welcome back to another video for you guys today. I'm going to be teaching you how to install and run custom maps for Half-Life Alex. This also works on the Oculus Quest. I'll also be teaching you how to use mods. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join the one minute gang. See you in the video. The first thing you're going to need is Half-Life Alex installed on the PC that you are going to be adding the custom maps to. Make sure it is installed through Steam. From there, you're going to want to head to a web browser of choice and then put in the link that is in the description into your browser and come to this site, alexmods.com. From here, what you're going to want to do is make an account or don't make an account. This isn't mandatory, but I would recommend making an account. Head over to Maps and Mods, then check Tools, Just Tools, then click Update. You're going to want to get the HLA Launcher. This will help with using custom maps. Once on the HLA Launcher page, all you have to do is click Download Tools and you will download the launcher to your downloads folder. I would then recommend dragging and dropping the zip file to your desktop. Once you have the file in an accessible area, right click on it and click extract here. You're then going to double click on the folder to open it and you're going to want to run the .exe file. That should be the top file in the folder. After that, you're going to want to run the second file in the folder, the .jar. If you try and run it and it doesn't work, that means you don't have the latest version of Java installed or you just don't have Java at all. Make sure you get that. The only reasons you wouldn't have it are if your Windows version isn't up to date or you're not using a Windows computer or a computer with a Windows operating system. These are computers like Macintoshes. Once you've done that, head back to alexmods.com and then you can go search for whatever mod or custom map that you want to play slash use. In my tutorial, I went up to the top and I searched by most downloaded. That's how you find the most popular maps. Then all you have to do is click update and then pick the one you want from there. For my video and tutorial, I clicked Crash Course. That was just the most downloaded one. So if you want to follow my suit, you can go ahead and do that. All you have to do is click on it. It'll take you to its page and then you can click download map or download mod. You will then download the zip file like you did with the launcher tool. I would then recommend dragging your new zip file to the same place where you dragged the zip file for the launcher tool. For me, this just happens to be my desktop. Once again, you're going to want to extract the file. In my case, for this file, I tried using WinRAR. I just opened it up and then drag and dropped out the file. You can do it the same way you extracted the launcher. Just click extract here. Both ways work. In my opinion, I just like doing this one better. After extracting your zipped file, what you're going to want to locate is the file name of the mod slash map with the ending VP. Okay. The next step is to open up the HLA launcher folder and drag in your newfound VPK file. Once you've done that, you can double click on the Java HLA launcher, which will bring up that same white screen from before, but this time you have a file that you can click on before clicking start map. Before going any further, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug in your headset to your PC. This really only applies if you have an Oculus Quest. If you don't have an Oculus Quest, your headset is already probably plugged in. So just make sure your headset is connected to your PC with Steam VR recognizing your headset. Once that happens, you can click Start Map. Once clicked, this black command box will appear asking you to insert launch options. Basically what this is saying is it needs to find the file directories for Half-Life Alex on your machine underneath Steam. So let's go get those now. Open up Windows Explorer. Head over to this PC. Click on local disk C, then head into program files 86, then scroll down to Steam. Then from in Steam, you want to go to Steam apps, 
then into Common, then into Half-Life Alex. Once you see the games folder, don't go any further, you are at your destination. Head up to the top and in the white open area, right click. Then click copy address as text. After that, you want to head back into your command prompt, click control V and then click enter. Everything will start running and then the black command box will go away and Valve will start up running your custom map. From here, you can put on your headset and play your custom map to your heart's intent. But to show you that this doesn't just work for this map, I'm going to install another map for you guys today in this tutorial. So once again, I'm going to head over to alexmods.com into the poplar section and download another poplar map called Overrun. Remember to download a map, all you have to do is click on its page and then click on the big download map. I'm then going to drag the zip file to my desktop where I will then extract it and then open the folder in order to find the VPK file. Once locating the VPK file, drag and drop it into your HLA launcher folder like we did with the other map and you are good to go. Double click on the Java launcher to run it and the white screen will appear. This time you'll have two different maps you can choose from. Read the names carefully and then pick the map you'd like to play. This time when you click start map, the black command box will appear once again, but this time you won't have to copy and paste in the location for the database for Half-Life Alex, since your computer has already saved it to memory. So with that being said, your secondary map should open up right now and you should be able to play. I'm now going to go on and show you some footage of me playing Overrun so you guys can see what these maps are like. If you did enjoy and this tutorial did help you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, it helps out a lot. Join the one minute gang, I would be forever grateful. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out everybody. Bye.